Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2016. Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, last month, late last month, we had a full moon in your opposite sign, a very grounding full moon. And that is the energy I spoke about last month, and it's the energy that you're carrying into this month. So as we are starting the month, you are still feeling the love, you're feeling a sense of steadiness in terms of the decisions, the understandings that you have made in relation to your love life and your understanding of where you're going and what you want in the context of love. What we also have happening uh, this particular uh, month is that as you are carrying that energy into the month, that's awesome. But then the energy, of course, it always changes. It all comes in cycles and then the focus comes on you. Who are you and what do you want? What are you ready to begin? What direction are you ready to go in? And so even though love is there, in many ways it becomes a very much a meditation, if you will, on self-honesty, on what you really need, what's working and what isn't, what's real and what isn't, and where it is that you're ready to fully own and be and live who you are, more honestly and authentically than you have before, simply based on a greater uh, growth of self-knowledge. So beginning of the month is a new moon. That just puts all the focus on you. It says you are deciding where to go. You feel like life is moving in a positive direction. You're determined to change. You're determined to start fresh. And then we get you to the later part of the month and this full moon happens. And to me, this full moon says, uh, I really think that this full moon is about looking at your own illusions and particularly for you. Where is it that you're seeing what you want and not what is actually there? Now, I shared in the general focused horoscope, there is um, an element here that has to do with secrets. And this is secrets that you consciously keep. So I think that what comes forward with this particular full moon is not gonna be a surprise. Um, I think that's true for all signs in their own unique areas of life. Um, it's not going to be a surprise. You're going to be feeling it coming. It's part of, and this moon is activating, um, the Neptune Saturn square that I've been talking about. I've talked about in special videos. I'll continue talking about it because it's a really important configuration for us now as a collective. However, I do think that it is going to be the full moon in the late part of the month that helps you to understand what is actually happening, what it is that you're actually seeing. Are you looking at someone and seeing their potential and not who they actually are and where they are? Are you really considering the bigger picture of your life? What's working and what isn't? Where is it maybe that it isn't about the other person? You're with someone awesome, but it's you that is confusing matters where they don't need to be. So this is going to be part of the meditation and part of the self-honesty that takes place. I also think as I look at this, that this part of the sky, and especially if you're in an established bond, this part of the sky also has to do with your spouse's income. So the money that your spouse generates also has a benefit to you, right? If you share, like if you're like that, <laughs> if you have a partner and you share a home and you're sharing finances, uh, chances are when one person does well, both do well. And so this is likely going to represent a change of financial situation for your partner. And it, it could really go either way, right? It might be better for better. It might be that they start bringing in more money, but it means that there'll be a lot more time spent outside the house. A lot of energy will go. It's not going to come without sacrifice. This could be that your partner decides that they need to go through a dramatic career change and abruptly, or maybe not so abruptly, you saw this coming, but they're just ready to end where they work. They got to get out of there and you are being asked to be supportive, to be compassionate, to give of yourself, of your support and your time. So this is also one way, especially if you're in a committed bond, a bond you've been in for the long term likely to play out in this scenario. 
This part of the sky also has to do with intimacy and vulnerability. And so when we have a, um, a certain configuration like this playing out, it does speak very strongly to the fact that something superficial, something light, something surface is not going to cut it. It's just not going to do the trick. You are going to want something that is a lot more substantial and meaningful to you and something that's real. So when you're meeting new people, it's hard to sometimes decipher, right? When you're meeting someone new about how real is this person being with me? Well, look, there's a lot of illusion at play. If you listen to yourself and you trust yourself, you'll, you'll get the gist of what you need to. You'll feel it out and know that you are on, uh, on track with your emotions. They will lead the way. They certainly will show you the depth and the truth and the core of the matter, especially as you're meeting new people. Um, and so keep that in the forefront, but I don't think, I think it'll be hard for, you know, just to be light and have fun, particularly around this full moon. Now in other parts of the month, right? We've got Venus moving through your sign. This is amazing. Venus is going to move through your sign this month. And this does suggest that you are attractive. <laughs> People are drawn to you. You are more charming. You are looking better. You are buying clothes, getting spa treatments, doing all kinds of nice things for yourself, spending money, right? Treating yourself. That's great. So as we move towards the middle of the month, Mercury will leave shadow. And that is really one of the, the, you know, you're off kind of moments where you know that you're in the clear to, uh, to go out there and, and enjoy yourself and to do all those things that you desire. And with Venus in your sign, it's just a really great time to have all kinds of different things, uh, done that have that represent knowing and owning your unique beauty, right? And it isn't always what you think it is. So it isn't, I'm not saying if you've never worn makeup, you never dyed your hair, you don't think that that is you, it feels dishonest, which I know I have friends who are like that. They're like, no, that's not me. That's not who I want to be. Then that's cool. This will bring out other parts of your unique beauty. It'll magnify them in your eyes and in the eyes of others as well. You'll be getting that affirmation externally. Venus lets things come to her. And so good things, uh, blessings, yes, but also just in terms of an appreciation and an understanding of your deservedness to have what you want and especially to experience the love will find you. What I love about this month for you in the context of love is that you remember what matters. You remember yourself and you're moving towards being more honest about what you really want. For some of you out there, the answers might surprise you. It may be that what you always thought you wanted, you realize maybe you don't. It might be that you're deciding that you are going to make a change. That change will move you towards greater love without a doubt. As part of the mystery, there will be some interesting realizations, revelations, twists and turns and progress being made. But as part of the mystery, you are certainly being led towards and being moved towards greater love than you've known before and greater wisdom as well.